welcome back to my channel come right in if you're new here my name is progress and welcome to my youtube channel if you're old welcome back all right so today i'm going to be doing my handbag collection for you guys yay i've been wanting to do this video for the longest time i just haven't had time to organize and put all my bags together and you know do this video but here i am today making this video for you guys all right, so I don't have a lot of bags. Um, I think I have about maybe 10 to 15 handbags. That's not a lot, right? Of course it's not. I'm pretty sure there are other people that have way more handbags than I do. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, don't forget to subscribe, thumbs this video up, let me know what you guys think about it in the comment section below. Let's get right into it. All right, so I'm gonna start with this one right here. This is actually one of my favorite right here. It's so small and very portable. Like you can take it anywhere. You know what I'm saying? You just have to put a few things in there. Maybe like your phone, your car keys, your house keys, maybe your purse. Like in a way you put your credit cards and debit cards and all that information. Um, yeah, so this is how it looks right here. I don't really know. The, okay, it's Beverly Hills Polo Club. It's so small and like so portable and that's why I like it so small like a little cake right yeah so this is the first bag right here I can't really remember where I bought the bag but I'm gonna think really deep so I can put the put all the information in the description box below for you guys if you guys want to go shop but if you want any of those bags just let me know in the comment section below and I would do my research and find out where I bought these bags from but some of the bags I got them sometime last year so it might take me a while but bear with me but this is the first bag right here I like it so much it's so small so portable you can hold it like this this is how I usually hold it so that's the first one this is the second one right here I love this little fluffy thing right here this is it right here I like it, it's so cute. Like I love the color. And I love the you know the square-ish shape of the bag. The bag doesn't really have a name. That's one thing with me. I love buying non-name brands. And that's why I get stuck not knowing where I got the stuff from. But I'm just here to just show you guys my collection. Nothing serious. But this is the second one right here. It's so classy, so nice. I usually don't like a lot of colors, like any stupid color. I don't like me personally. I like just black. I would go for just guys. I'm sorry if I'm looking here and here. Don't blame me. Just bear with me. But I would personally go for all black, all black or black. But I decided to like dip my you know legs in the different color pool, and that's why you're seeing this color right here. It's kind of giving me like the maroon. Um, burgundy type color so second one right this here. is the third one as you guys are seeing I don't really like big crazy bags but I'm getting there I do have a few big like crazy bags but for the most part a lot of my bags are like really small portable comfortable nice so this is uh, Bella Donna this is right here it's small Yep, that's it. Right there. I do love the design. This is actually one of the reasons I bought the bag. I love this design right here, right here, right here. I love the design. And the name is Bella Donna. I don't think this is a designer bag. I am pretty sure it's not, but the name is Bella Donna, just in case you guys are wondering what this is right here. It's this one. I recently just purchased this bag. Um, I think two weeks ago from City Trends. I remember because I just got this bag. That's why I remember where I got it from. I think I got it for like $35, $40. Wasn't that bad, bad at all. And like the bag is super strong. It's not like, I don't, I don't that's why I have a lot of bags because I don't wear them, because um, I don't use them every single day. That's why most of them last a long time because I don't wear them every time. So there's no wear or tear on any, any one of them. Um, but if, like, if you feel this bag, you can feel how strong it is. Like, it ain't going nowhere. And, okay. Love that little chain-ish stuff right there. 
It's nice. I like it. I actually have a shoe that matches this bag, like to the T, guys. I have an outfit that my, because I usually want to match my, you know, my outfit with my bag, you know. That's why I like to swag good. All that. So, yeah, so this is how the inside looks. As you can see, I haven't really used this bag at all. But this is it. You guys have seen like what? Three, four of my bags now, and they are exactly the same size as this. Yeah, this is how I like my bags. I like it small. Small. I don't want to be carrying human being inside my bag, okay? I don't want to be carrying a whole a whole person in my bag. I just love my bag to be really small. So this is it right here. Nice, right? And the next one is this one right here. So yellow purse. It's so like a chain type purse. You hold it like this. I usually like holding my bags like this. Or I just put it over my shoulder like that. It's more convenient for me, especially if it's like this. But I recently just got this one as well, not so long ago. Um, I think I used it like maybe one time. But that's how it is. This small, like I like it. Portable, easy to carry, not heavy at all. You can just fit maybe your phone, your car keys in the bag. That's how I like it. I don't like too much stress. I don't like stress at all, okay? So this is the third, the, what, the 101, the feet six, I can't even count, but this is it right here. I think this is like the, what, the fourth bag? I, I lost count, but this is it right here. So yellow. Okay, now we've hit a big one. Ta-da! I got this bag. This bag has been in my collection for the past, I think, four years now. It's been in my collection for a while. I cannot outgrew the bag. I'm not even going to lie. I can't remember the last time I used this bag. I just... I'm not a fan of shiny bags anymore. You see how shiny the bag is? And the... Yeah, I'm not a fan of this style anymore. So you would not catch me wearing this bag anywhere. But I have it in my collection. So, of course, I'm going to show you guys. But I've had this bag now for over three to four years. As you can see, it's still very strong. It looks brand new. If I clean this bag up very well and take everything inside the bag, you think I bought this bag yesterday. So don't be playing out here for non-designer bags, okay? Because they are just as strong. Um, like I said, this bag has been with me for the past three years. It looks brand new. If I want to show you guys every aspect of this bag, you will not see any scratch, any tear, nothing looks just as new but it's because he's big not usually my style but of course i'm trying to enter different different avenues of different styles of bags but this is it right here um what kind of attracted me to the bag was the color i wanted a blue bag um because usually back in the day i usually go for black black because you know how black is now black goes with any any and everything you know what i'm saying if you want to go with a red bag you have to wear something that matches the red if you want to go with a yellow bag you have to wear something that matches the yellow and you know if you're you know going with a, a black bag you can wear anything you want to wear so i usually just go for black bags and um i was like you know what let me get blue you know let me get blue let me get red let me get one of each color and i found this right here so yeah, this is the blue. This is another bag that I absolutely love, guys. Like I recently got this one. I remember where I got it from, guys. I got it from City Trends and it was about $45. Boo! I love this thing right here. It's really, really cute. It's like, it's so cute. It's very cute for like business casual if you're um, I recently just wore this to my church and it was really nice with my outfit um, like I said you know you know how black is black is good with anything never go wrong with black bags but I don't know I just love the bag it just makes you look classy it makes you look elegant it just makes you look it makes you stand out and as you can see this bag is too small not as big like the blue bag and not as small like the other ones that I showed you guys but it's just the perfect size and I love the handle right here the circular thing, yeah, I love it. Yes. And this is another blue. So I said I'm entering the blue pond. I was like, you know what? Let me buy another blue because I'm I'm not really a fan of the shiny blue. I got this one. I remember where I got this one. I actually got this one from Just Fab. And it's been a really long time since I used this bag. Um, I got this bag. I think I'm not gonna lie. About two years ago, guys. And you guys can see how strong this bag looks. Like I cleaned this bag up very well, I scrubbed it very well. You guys don't even know that it's an old bag. You think it's brand new, like I bought it yesterday. And it looks nice and strong. Um, Just Fab usually sells that bag for about $339, 40 bucks. 
I can't remember how much, but it should be around that figure. But this is another blue one that I got. It's been a long time since I want this one, but it's too nice. Another black bag, guys. Another black bag. This is one of my all-time favorite black bags. Very classy, very elegant, very glamorous, like... Ow! Ow! But um, I got this bag from City Trends. Um, I know you guys are like, oh my god, City Trends, City Trends, this girl. What is opportunity City Trends? If you have City Trends in your area, if you have City Trends in your city, you guys need to go check out their bags. Like, they have mad cute bags. Cute bags that last a long time. And I'm not joking. I've been shopping in City Trends for a long time, especially when it comes to bags, and they have not disappointed me. And this is the black bag. Um, I think I got this about $35, $36, $37 from City Trends. As you can see, you, like even though it's not designers, you still wouldn't even know, bro. Like you still wouldn't know. And this is it right here. It's so nice. You can wear it with anything. It's not big. It's not like ah! it's just the perfect size. And that's how I like my bags. I like my bags the perfect size. I don't want any kind of crazy big bags. This is just the perfect size for me. So yeah, it's good. But anyways, um, so this is how it looks. I recently just wore this bag not too long. Um, I think I've used it just once, once or twice, I can't remember, but I think I used it just once. But it still looks brand new, like I just bought it yesterday, guys, like I just bought it yesterday. Guys, like this is one of my favorite bags, guys, like no joke. I love the two-tone color, the burgundy color, the black and the goldish thing right here. I love the fact that you can hold this or you can put it over your shoulder using this right here. It is absolutely gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous. This is something you can wear it to anywhere. You can wear it to the movies, you can wear it to church, you can wear it to you can wear it on a date, you can wear it with a dress, you can wear this, you know, with anything, and that's why I love it. But you still gotta match the color down here though. Well it doesn't matter, it doesn't matter, it just it just depends on how you mix and match your clothes and the colors and everything. You can match, it doesn't matter. This this got you right here. See how say how it's done dude. See, see, see. I gotta try strong way <laughs> This is the last one right here. It's red. Um I'm not really a fan of this bag, I'm not gonna lie. I'm not gonna lie, but I just have it in my collection because, I don't know, I just have it. Like I said, I usually just look at bags, I'm like, okay, it's cute. I get it. And then later I'm like, oh, why did I buy this bag? Oh my God, why did I buy this bag? But I do have a lot of those in my closet, I'm not even gonna lie. This is, this this right here, it's not all the bags that I have, okay? The ones that, 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 that were bad decisions are back in my closet. But um, this is one of them, and I was like, you know what? I, like, I don't have any red bag right here. Let me just bring this one out here and show you guys the red one that I have. I have about three or four red bags, but this is the one that is uh, the best. All right, <laughs> all right. So this is it right here. I can't remember the last time I used this bag. I'm not even gonna lie. It's been at least three, two, three years. But you guys are hearing the years, right? It's, it's sounding like film. It's sounding like a mystery to you guys. Two, three years. Yes, guys. These are not designer bags these are your regular bags that you will find at your regular store for twenty dollars thirty dollars forty dollars it just depends on how you take care of them and how you just rock them and like i said how you take care of them is very important as well because this is not designer bags you might think oh it's gonna break it's gonna tear it's gonna wear it's just gonna it's just gonna it's not gonna last but i've been taking care of these bags for the past three two three years now and they've been great like I can sell these bags as brand new if I wanted to and just go and buy, um, what is it called? The bubble wrap and just put in the bags. So that's how like new they all look. But these are my handbag collection. Let me know which bag you like. Let me know how you arrange your bags. Do you go for all black? Do you go for all red? Because I know there are a lot of people that go for all black because it's just easy. It's really, really easy if you go for all black because then you don't have to think of any color to mix and match. Which, to be honest with you, I don't even blame you. Once upon a time, I used to be that girl that goes for all black. But, let me know what you guys think about the color. Let me know what you guys think about the video in the comment section below. Comment this video up if you like it. And subscribe if you haven't subscribed. And I'm going to be seeing you guys next video. Bye.